Probably there's a CT lesson uh, for my buddy Joel. Um, CT lessons are just tabs, but Joel, I want to throw you up um, a video for this. You wanted kind of what we call the campfire version of Gary Allen, right where I need to be. Um, it didn't take as long as I thought. Um, this was a paid service, so I want to give you the video too, um, and kind of give you two different options. So, um, which you'll see between verse and chorus, because technically the same. Tuning, we went with flat. Um, if you don't, technically it sounds like it's drop C sharp, but there's multiple guitars. So, you can do it in standard. If it's too high for you when you're trying to sing it, then drop it down flat. Or if you want to play along with them, you're going to need to tune flat. So, I use the official video. It starts with this, with this part and then it drops out for, you know, like 10 seconds and then kicks back in. So 3, 5, E, A, just a G5 power chord. 5, 7, A, D. 5, 7, E, A. So it's G5, D5, and A5. So, you're looking to do these and go out and sing and play. I don't know if you're going out and sing and playing, but, you know, you could play that a couple times if you want as kind of an introduction before kicking into the, the verse. Um, which it'll actually do that two more times. Three, four, again. Okay, then section two, which is the verse, will kick in at 36 seconds, and we have this. I mean, it's eight times of G major, D major, and A. And so it's... The four finger G major open position, three two open open three three, two strums, and I wanted to get a few of the icing things in here, which would be an open A hammer on to two, to an open D. So, oops, that'll take you into a D major, two three two open. If you hit the open A, it's fine, but don't hit the open low E. Maybe mute that with the thumb. The, the consistent strum will be this, down, 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 up, okay? So we have... Little thing I want to point out, transitioning from G to D, there's a note that's shared, and that's this D note, third fret on the B string. You could leave that finger down. Oops. Even though you're doing that, it's not going to be in the way of anything. If you can do it by lifting it and dropping it, that's fine too. A major, I'm just doing the barred version because I know you're going to be singing with this. I, I don't want you have to overthink the chords. Second fret D, G, and B, and then I'm curving out to mute the high E. But if you, you can hit it open, but you wouldn't want it pressed down. That's an A6, and we don't want that chord. Uh, down, 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 up twice. Thumb, I'm muting string six. That's section two, which is the verse breakdown. He's using this progression for the verse and the chorus. The, the chorus has a little more going on with it with the secondary guitars, the electric, and I wanted to grab that vibe because if I didn't, that would be the whole song for you and I wanted it to be a little more fun. So section three would come in at 123 with this. Pretty cool. So 3, 5, E, A, we're back to our power chords twice. 5, E, slide to 7. And then 5, A. So. Same concept, but starting on 5, 7, A, D. And then 7, A, slide to 9. To 7, D. So. And then the A major, we're back to our uh, sharing the same strum that we did in the verse. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, start over. Okay, and really there's only one other part. Section 4 at 146, it actually starts the same way. When you go into the E major, just 
drum it once, let it ring. And that's it. I mean, section two at 203, section three at 206, and then section four at 301. So it's just probably the simp simplest uh, CT lesson you've had me do. Probably the simplest lesson we've done. So this ought to be good for you, man. You're picking some good ones that I think for the person that just wants to pick up their acoustic and have the campfire style, easier simplified guitar so you can focus on vocals, man. Uh, this is the perfect song for that. So anyways, there you go, Joel. Thanks.